10 signs you may have cirrhosis or severe liver damage. The liver is a vital organ that serves over 500 critical functions. It produces bile to digest fats, breaks down hormones, stores essential vitamins and minerals, removes bacteria and toxins from the blood, and much more. Liver health is essential for the body's overall well-being. One of the most severe liver conditions is cirrhosis. Cirrhosis develops when healthy liver tissue is gradually replaced with scar tissue, damaging the organ's structure and ability to function properly. It has many possible causes, including hepatitis infections, alcohol abuse, fatty liver disease, and autoimmune disorders. Cirrhosis tends to progress slowly over years or even decades without symptoms at first. But once significant scarring exists, the signs of liver trouble can become severe as circulatory flow is impaired and toxins build up. Being aware of the key warning signs allows early treatment before irreparable damage or even liver failure occurs. In this video, I will cover the 10 most common signs that may indicate liver cirrhosis. Recognizing these symptoms promptly gives you the best chance for life-saving early intervention. Pay attention to these potential markers of serious liver scarring. Catching them quickly could restore quality of life or simply save your life. Here are 10 signs you may have cirrhosis or severe liver damage. Number one, jaundice. The most well-known cirrhosis symptom is jaundice or yellow tinting of the skin and whites of the eyes. Jaundice results from a buildup of bilirubin, a yellow waste material from dead red blood cells. Healthy livers remove bilirubin from blood, but diseased livers allow dangerous accumulations. Jaundice often appears in advanced cirrhosis as extensive scarring blocks bilirubin filtration and transport. Seek immediate treatment whenever you see yellowing eyes or skin. Number two, ascites. Many cirrhosis patients suffer from ascites or fluid accumulation inside the abdominal cavity. Toxins in blood entering the liver also spill backwards into the abdomen through scarred tissue. Low albumin production plus high portal vein pressure pushes fluid out of vessels into surrounding tissues. Patients describe the sensation as feeling bloated. Ascites ranges from mild with subtle swelling to painful, tense, and severe requiring paracentesis drainage procedures. Number three, bruising and bleeding. The liver synthesizes nearly all blood clotting factors, enabling wounds to heal properly. With cirrhosis, clotting factor shortages mean injuries bleed excessively while purple bruises crop up mysteriously. Minor cuts may continue oozing for hours while bruises spring up without known injury. See your health provider promptly if easy or excessive bleeding and bruising appears spontaneously. Number four, fatigue and weakness. Another common cirrhosis symptom is fatigue, exhaustion, and low energy, even following full night's rest. Several reasons explain tiring easily with liver dysfunction. Poor nutrient conversion into glucose drops energy reserves while toxicity builds up, causing chronic fatigue. Protein shortage into muscles also reduces strength. Prioritizing rest and sound nutrition helps stabilize some fatigue, though poor liver function also plays a role. Number five, fluid retention. Cirrhosis allows fluid to accumulate everywhere besides the abdomen, leg, ankle, and feet swelling results from low albumin impeding water reabsorption, while kidney changes also promote liquid retention. Face and hand puffiness also occurs oddly resembling weight gain, but signaling protein deficiency. Getting adequate nutrition can alleviate some swelling, though medication and liver disease treatment remains key. Number six, increased infections. Cirrhosis sufferers turn prone to multiple infections from fungal, viral, and bacterial sources. Liver scarring disables the organ from properly removing bacteria and toxins from blood, allowing pathogens to multiply. Frequent diseases like urinary tract infections, pneumonia, or skin problems prevail and become difficult to resolve. Staying vigilant about hand hygiene while avoiding sick contacts lowers infection risk. Nonetheless, visiting a doctor as soon as any infection appears gives you the best odds for quick, full recovery. Number seven, spider angiomas. Tiny, spider-shaped blood capillaries spreading underneath skin surfaces frequently decorate cirrhosis patients' faces, chests, arms, and palms. Experts call them spider angiomas. Although mostly non-symptomatic, 
these glowing red spider angiomas result from estrogen changes plus vascular fragility as liver dysfunction allows vessel walls to weaken. While painless, spider angiomas help clinicians visually recognize advanced liver disease. Number eight, itching. Upwards of 70% of those with severe liver illness suffer from pruritus or chronic itchy skin. Exact mechanisms connecting cirrhosis and pruritus remain unclear, though experts link the symptom to bile salts depositing in skin, nerve damage, dryness, and toxin accumulation. Constant scratching for relief becomes maddening. Strict skin care plus oral medication helps calm itching, though addressing liver problems is key for resolution. Number 9. Peeling Palms Certain nutrient shortages associated with substantial liver scarring cause telltale changes in nail beds or palms. Amino acid and protein lack produces red, flaky skin around nail beds and across palms resembling very dry skin, eczema, or dermatitis. Yet hydrating moisturizers bring little relief. Pay attention as peeling palms can represent advanced nutritional issues requiring prompt liver supportive treatment. Number 10. Mental Confusion Perhaps the most frightening cirrhosis symptom is hepatic encephalopathy or declining brain function. Ammonia and manganese toxicity in liver disease travels to the brain impairing consciousness and mental ability. Early confusion and forgetfulness can progress to frightening personality changes, stupors, dangerous delirium, or even coma. Seeking immediate treatment is vital to protect the brain and reverse neurotoxicity effects through liver support. Catching cirrhosis warning signs early allows treatment before end-stage disease develops. Helping preserve functioning liver tissue improves outcomes. With today's therapies, cirrhosis can be managed, although not usually cured entirely, except through transplant. Key tactics for protecting the liver revolve around abstaining from alcohol, achieving healthy body weight, managing viral contributors, removing environmental toxin exposures, treating contributing diseases, and improving nutrition. Doctors may recommend anti-inflammatory medications, steroids, or antiviral drugs to reduce liver inflammation or cell death. Removing accumulated fluid provides symptom relief while promoting blood flow through liver pathways. You play an important role managing cirrhosis, too, through steps like controlling gout and diabetes. Gout and diabetes cause immense stress on the liver, accelerating cirrhosis progression. Keeping these diseases tightly controlled through medication, diet, exercise, and doctor follow-ups is vital to stabilize liver inflammation and function. Work closely with your care team to optimize sugar and uric acid levels. Avoiding acetaminophen and hepatotoxins. Acetaminophen and other chemical hepatotoxins further damage already struggling livers. Read labels carefully and steer clear of toxin exposures, including industrial chemicals, herbicides, heavy metals, and wild mushrooms, which worsen liver health. Thiamine supplements to protect brain. Thiamine or vitamin B1 deficits in cirrhosis contribute to brain fog and confusion. Supplementing this essential nutrient keeps nerve connections sharp, reducing cognitive issues and future brain damage due to high ammonia levels from diseased livers. Not skipping medications or doctor visits. Strictly adhering to your cirrhosis medication regimen and consistently showing up for appointments allows your care team to maximize liver function and manage symptoms early. Missing pills or visits means worsening disease progression and symptoms, so commitment is key. Reporting symptoms promptly, immediately informing your doctor about any new or concerning cirrhosis symptoms helps facilitate rapid adjustments in care to alleviate issues and prevent escalation. Catching complications early vastly improves quality of life. Meeting transplant criteria early. Discussing transplant options with your hepatologist before you become critically ill leads to better long-term outcomes. Meeting all prerequisites for waitlists early means you'll get a new liver faster once yours fails. This prevents lengthy hospitalizations waiting for donor organs or even becoming too sick for transplant. Even better, engage in preventative strategies lowering future cirrhosis risk like hepatitis vaccination, safe sexual choices, healthy eating, regular exercise, proper hygiene, limited alcohol, and chronic disease screening. Stay vigilant about activities, exposures, or symptoms negatively impacting your liver. 
Avoid ignoring risk factors for progressive liver scarring, including viral hepatitis, NAFLD, obesity, metabolic disorders, bile duct disorders, or toxin exposure. Catching problems early, including these 10 common warning signs, optimizes outcomes and maintains liver function for years ahead. Here's to healthy livers and bodies. I hope this video covering 10 signs of potential liver cirrhosis was helpful and informative. Please let me know in the comments what other liver health topics you'd be interested in me covering in future videos. Knowledge is power when working to detect and manage serious conditions like cirrhosis early. If you know someone else who would benefit from recognizing these common symptoms of cirrhosis, please share this video. The more we spread awareness, the quicker and more often liver disease can get managed in initial stages before critical damage. I appreciate your help spreading the word. Also, be sure to like, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you can stay updated whenever I post new videos and content on vital health topics. My goal in creating free videos is equipping you with knowledge to support your health and well-being. So whether that means learning about disease prevention, achieving healthy lifestyles, using natural remedies, or connecting with empowering communities, I hope you find my channel helpful. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.